Hey Real Life Kids, we're back. I'm Melissa. I'm Madison. And I'm Maya. And today we're going to test the theory that our sense of smell affects our sense of taste. So the theory states that if you can't smell, you won't be able to taste your food right. So what we're going to do is you're going to need a blindfold, something you can cover your eyes with. It could be a bandana, a piece of cloth, and then you're going to have to pinch your nose while you taste something and see if you can tell what it is when you can't smell. So make sure you don't cheat when you pinch your nose. You gotta pinch it like this, no cheating, okay? And then after you're done guessing, then you can let go and see if you can tell what it is else. So do you think you guys can do it? Yes. yes. All right, so we're gonna try three different foods and see if they can help us guess what it is. So put your blindfolds on. Get them on. Can you see, Maddie? Can you see anything, Maya? No. Nope. Don't put your head up. You're good? <laughs> no peeking. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff. Only our friend watching knows what it is. You guys know. Don't plug your nose yet. I'll tell you when. Mom, but will we see it when we watch the video? <laughs> You'll get to see it when you watch back. Okay, ready? The first thing you're gonna taste is no peeking. Okay, I'm gonna put it in your mouth. Plug your nose. Plug it tight, no cheating. Open up. Okay, plug your nose. No cheating, chew it up. Tell me what you think it is, Maddie. Um, Don't unplug your nose. Don't unplug it, Maya. What is it? Can you guess? You don't know what it is? Maddie, Maya, can you guess? What do you think um, it is? Cheddar cheese. You think it's cheddar cheese? Maddie, what do you think? Uh, do you, have, you didn't have a guess, right? Okay, now unplug your nose and taste it. Can you tell what it is now? Yeah, it's some kind of cheese. Now you can tell it's cheese, right? Okay. Okay, can you leave your blindfold on? Mm -hmm. Okay, leave them on. We're going to try the next thing. Are you ready? The next thing they're going to try is... Okay, so plug your nose. Open up, it's on a spoon. Open it up, it's on a spoon. Don't unplug. What do you think that could be? Peanut butter. What do you think, Maya? Peanut butter. How could you tell, Maddie? It's creamy. Oh, because the texture? Could you tell by the taste or because of how it felt? Because of how it now let go of your nose. Now can you really taste it? Yes. Yeah, were you right? You were right. Okay, no, taking your blindfolds off or you'll be cheating to what's next. Okay, the last thing we're gonna try is, okay, I'm just gonna get a little piece of this. Plug your nose. Keep your eyes closed. Open it. Plug it good, Maya, no unplugging until you're done guessing. What do you think it is? No one plugging until you guess. Toast. Keep your toast? I know I'm plugging. What do you um, think? I think it um some type of cookie. My Maddie you thought it was toast. Why do you think it's toast? Because it's crunchy. It's crunchy. Okay, unplug your nose. Can you tell what it is now? A chocolate chip cookie. What do you think it is, Maddie? Now that you can smell, can you taste it? It's ground cracker. Ground cracker? Okay, take your blindfolds off. So the first one was cheese. And Maddie, you thought it was what? You couldn't tell? Uh -uh. And then peanut butter, and you guessed, you said because it was smooth and creamy, so the texture gave it away. And the last one was cookies. And Maddie thought it was toast because it was crunchy, so she couldn't taste the sweet. And Maya, I don't know how you guessed, if you cheated or you could just talk. So give it a try at home. Try a few different things with your nose plug and see if you can, if it affects your sense of taste. Hope you try it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, Real Life Kids. Before we begin, we're going to need coloring utensils, paper, a ruler, and some scissors. You can pause and start when you have them. It's that time of year again where love is in the air. 
Today we are kicking off our new series for the month, Real Love. Can you measure how much God loves us with this? Hmm, I don't know. Can you measure how high God loves us? We could try to use a ruler. Can you measure how long God loves us? We can try to use a stopwatch. It's just going to go. None of these things can measure God's love. If they could, this cup would be overflowing with God's love. This ruler would have to go all the way to the heavens to show God's love. And the stopwatch would never stop because God's love is forever. The only real measure of God's love is the cross. God loved us so much that Jesus, God's own son, was sent to save us by dying on the cross. But, is it, but it wasn't just to save you and me. God's love is for everyone. And that's our big idea. God loves everyone. Say it with me again, but say it as soft as you can. Are you ready? One, two, three. God's love is for everyone. To help me remember God's love, I'm going to make a cross. So I need you to grab your supplies. So your ruler, your papers, your pencils, your coloring utensils. So I'm going to challenge you to make your own cross. You can make it out of anything. You can make your cross with me or make it after the video. So for my cross, I'm going to use two pieces of paper. I'm going to fold one in half hot dog style and make sure that it's pretty even and then you can use your ruler to measure or you can freehand cutting across I'm going to use a ruler just to help me a little bit so with my coloring utensils I'm going to use the ruler at the edge of where it's folded and then draw a line and then I'm going to take half an inch from the top that marker doesn't work. And grab a new coloring utensil and try that again. So we're going to draw our line. That one doesn't work either. Maybe third time's a charm. Okay, let's try it again. So our ruler's at the edge and we're going to draw a line. Yes, that one works. And then with our ruler, we're going to measure half an inch from the top and then half an inch from the bottom. And then about two inches down from where we marked it, we're gonna mark it. And then another two inches down, so right there, we're gonna mark it. And then two inches in, we're gonna mark it right there. And then we're gonna connect our lines. And then we're going to take our scissors to cut out our cross. So you're going to use your scissors and go like this. You can pause whenever you need to, or you can just follow along with me and do it later when you have more time. So after you cut it out, you can either have this cross and you can color it, or you can color another piece of paper. So I'm just going to scribble some colors. And then you can glue it or take the cross from here over this cross. And then our my finished cross can look like this. And that's our cross to help us remember how much God loves us. So my finished product when I did it looks like this. It came out so well. I bet yours is amazing. Here at Real Life Church, we would love to see it. So can you take a picture of it and send it over? You can send it to cindy at getreallife.org. This cross makes a great reminder for our big idea. God loves everyone. Do you hear that? It's story time. It's story time. Story time. Time to get ready for story time. So grab your Bible and follow me. Today's story is found in John 3, 1 through 21. As we go through today's story, see how it shows that God loves everyone. Our story is called Nicodemus. There was a man named Nicodemus who was a Pharisee. 
He was a very respected religious leader. In fact, it was his job to help the people understand God's law and the type of life God wanted them to live. So Nicodemus was known to be an expert when it came to matters about God. But when Nicodemus met Jesus, he learned that he didn't know or understand as much as he thought he did. So Nicodemus snuck away in the middle of the night to talk to Jesus. Nicodemus listened to everything Jesus had to say and even discovered that some of his ideas about God were not exactly right. Jesus told Nicodemus, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. That evening, Nicodemus learned just how much God loved the whole world. Because of this love, God had a plan to save the world through Jesus. That night, Nicodemus started to follow Jesus because he learned God loves everyone, including a Pharisee like him. And God still loves everyone today. I'm so glad God loves us all so much. Before we go, I have a few questions for you. Number one, who was Nicodemus? Do you remember? He was a Pharisee, a respected religious leader. Number two, when did Nicodemus go to Jesus? Nicodemus snuck away in the middle of the night. Number three, what did Nicodemus learn when he talked to Jesus? He learned just how much God loved the whole world. And the last one, what did Jesus say to Nicodemus that showed him how much God loves everyone? Jesus told Nicodemus, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. That's a great Bible verse to memorize. I have another challenge for you. I challenge you to memorize that verse. Send a video to cindy at getreallife.org of you saying the verse by memory. Memorizing the verse and the cross we made earlier are great ways to remember God's love, but another way is to read the Bible. So this week, I want you and your family to read the whole story found in John 3, 1 through 21. Talking to God is also a way to feel God's love. So let's talk to God so you can talk to him with me or you can talk to him on your own. Are you ready? Let's get our prayer hands ready. Warm them up. You can say, dear God, thank you for this day. And thank you for loving us so much that you would send your son for us. Thank you for reminding me through this story. And please help me to remember every day just how much you love me and everyone. For all the things I ask, thank you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's it for today. I hope you guys had a blast, and I'll see you next time.